Well, this is a short passage, but one that's pretty profound in relation to our human experience in the church. Uh, it is a rupture in relationship and a parting of ways. And it is not uh, a parting of ways over theological differences. It's a parting of ways between two companions, two partners in the ministry who have a different level of trust in another person. Uh, Barnabas and Paul are setting off and Barnabas wants to take John Mark with them. Paul doesn't trust John Mark uh, because he had abandoned them once before and Paul refuses his companionship on their next missionary journey. And that's enough to break these two apart. Barnabas sets off with Mark, Paul sets off with Silas, and they part ways here in this text. Uh, it's not a parting of ways that uh, is um, spoken about with any great judgment. It's just a matter of fact disagreement over how much they can trust Mark and they decide to go two separate directions with two uh, separate companions. I think the here is an invitation for us to think about all the ways in which uh, 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 ruptures in relationship um, mismatches of trust and parting of ways is often an experience in our uh, lives particularly in the lives of churches it's often the cases that people is often the case that people leave churches for a variety of reasons uh, many of which are not theological but relational and this is a passage in which that occurs but the mission continues in fact, both Barnabas and Paul continue the mission that they had set out on, guided by the Spirit. Uh, they continue to do this in community, though in two different communities. So I wonder if we could take this passage today as an invitation to think back through all of our lives in the church communities that we've been a part of, all of those ruptured relationships that could have happened uh, along the way, and be invited into a, a new way of relating to those ruptures. Uh, in some cases, those ruptures are healed by some kind of uh, occurrence of, of reunion or uh, forgiveness or something of that sort. But in, in other instances, that isn't the case, and the rupture remains. So I wonder if we might think about the possibility of, of thinking prayerfully about those people with whom our own lives have parted uh, ways and to think of them prayerfully in a way that blesses them on their journey, that blesses them in the continuation of the ministry that they are carrying out, perhaps now with new partners in our new community or a different church, uh, and to prayerfully bless them on that journey, just as we continue to prayerfully follow the Spirit and the journey and the path that we are being led. It is uh, a really remarkable um, few verses here very short, very succinct, very matter of fact, but contains a great deal of, uh, of profundity in relationship to our very own human experiences of rupture and trust and partnership and reunion.